Greetings, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Mad Pack 2 with Lord Icon. So since last time, I have done a lot of work. As you can see, my house is cleared out. Well, other than a ton of cobble. Um, I think I got everything from upstairs. So I moved everything except for the bed to the new house. Um, I did move everything over to that castle thing that we found during the last episode. This episode, what I plan to do is... One... I really, really want to get rid of this house. So as you can see here, I've set myself up. I've got TNT. I've got redstone. And I've got the wall of shame. Alright, let's set this up. Let's see if we can get rid of this. There we go. I think that'll do some damage to the wall of shame there. And... Oh, we gotta get that there. There we go. Is that gonna be enough to blow it all up? There we go. We blew up the wall of shame. Alright, now that that page is over with... Oh my goodness. Little drunk dude. Oh, there we go. I can't see anything. There's two of them? No? Oh, there is. Oh, no. And he died, and he dropped something else. Again, everything just wants me to build to that wall of shame, don't they? Where is he? Can't even see. There we go. Alright, the wall of shame is blown to pieces. I do not want to pick up any of those heads. I want to leave this exactly as is. One other thing I wanted to do while we're here... Um, since it's a different area than where we live, is I do have some Pandora boxes that I found while I was building out that new house. Um, if we look at the new area here, so let's see, there's the new house. This area, was it, no, down here, this area down here, there was, so we saw the ice castle. There was also a few of those buildings with the little, uh, that have the uh, ancient stuff in it. I'm trying to find out where they were. But shoot. Oh, here they are. So there's one. There's one. These were all travels that I did when going down this way. And I know there were some other ones that I found that were down this way. And we'll have to zoom in on that later. But within those, I have found two Pantora's boxes. Kind of worried. Um, oh, I forgot this thing that I'm holding does ground stuff like that. I didn't mean to use it. Darn it. Huh. Let's see. Heals player explodes on me. Okay. So, to open this up and gotta have a clear path to run away. Okay. It's doing something. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. It's gonna drown me. It is gonna drown me in my own house. Can I go upstairs? Oh my goodness. No! It's gonna drown me. There, I can breathe. That was close. As soon as I busted the hole, it would have drowned me. So yes, that just built a ice layer, or a glass layer around me. It followed me. And filled it all with it's still doing stuff though. What else is it doing? Filled it all with water. I don't know what else is going to happen. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go inside the ice, or glass. I keep calling it see, is there anything else in here? It just pretty much put a bubble around me. Wow, that's thick too. This whole area up here is just a layer. It did blow up the bed. I guess I can go back down this way. And it's over with. Alright, finally. So, for the last one. Let's get rid of that. Can I cut it? Can I cut it? Go! 
It's easier just to do that. All right. I can't really run away. They didn't give me much room there, did they? And go. Yes, I'm running. Lava. Lava, 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 lava. How far is it going to go? Oh my goodness, I'm glad I did not do that near my other house. Look at that. The whole building is flowing with lava. Wow. I'm glad I didn't have anything in there. Does it stop there? Let's see. You can see the circle on the map. That is a humongous... And it's spawning lava monsters. They're all fighting with each other. That is epic. Wow, my house has been destroyed. Alright, back to the other house. I think that's all I wanted to do while I was there. I do have some food, though. That's good. So we've destroyed the Wall of Shame. Let's see if we can get a better vantage of that, because i got to get a screenshot. That's awesome. See, I don't want to go too high, because I've got all these things that spawned up there that want me dead. That is awesome. All right, so we've burnt our house to the ground with a giant lava fire. The TNT wasn't enough, I guess. We covered it with I or covered it with glass and then covered the whole thing in lava. All right, so to show you guys the new house, um, I have been doing a lot of work. Moving everything over was only the first step. Um, I've done a lot of work of cleaning it up. Uh, I made it larger because when we walked through it the first time, it was a really small house. I mean, there wasn't even room for me to put like a row of chests. Um, and really, on the fact of chests, I, I think I'm at the point where I need an ME system. Um, you'll see when I get there the amount of chests I've had to put up. Uh, let's make sure I'm running the right way here. Yes, okay. Um, along with setting up organization for my chests, setting up um, all of the different equipment I had. I've built a garden over there. It used to have a wheat garden. Now it's replaced with a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, I did set up the witchery room and started smelting some of that stuff in the fume. Because um, I did get my cactuses that I need during the last episode. Um, along with that, I did dig a caving system. Um, done some mining off camera. So hopefully we have the resources we need. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I did. So you see here, here's my castle, and I've extended the whole top out. It goes all the way out to the front of the building. That used to be part of the wraparound as far as the um, blocks that you could walk around for the little end pillars here. I've put in glass windows so I could see out. Um, that's the very clear glass. You can see this little gate system here, and I can actually fight through this, so it makes it really good minus when you're fighting somebody that throws fire um, so here's my garden I took the barrel from that we found in town last time and you can see here I'm fermented I have fermented grape wine so I'm almost at a point where I can drink some wine I got wine plants growing I stole the uh, rope here from the other the, the village I've got my essence crops growing I've got some nether wart, and I'll show you where I got that from. And then I've got two sprinklers set up, one on both sides. Got one over here, and you can see i kind of been trampling around in a little bit. Alright, so here's the main floor, and it used to only go to about right here. I expanded this all the way to the back wall. Opened it up all the way to these pillars. So these are the pillars on the side. Set up my... Um, Slag, slag mill and alloy smelter. Set up a little organization for my tools that I needed. My mob drops. And my miscellaneous. And I'll, I'm going to cover that too. Show you guys what creatures I got. Moved and rebuilt my bookshelves. Moved my enchanting table. There's my bed. Here's my little lookout, which has opening so I can get out. Again, it's got a, the glass ceiling... So nothing actually sees me in there, but... Alright, so you can see my wall of people. So these are all the heads that I've collected. Um, you can see I put myself on there. I've got Demon Hunter here. I've got, let's see, 
wild. I got Medius 22 right there. I've got the whole the whole group of heads. Again, there's more heads to collect, and I'm just going to build this whole out whole thing out. So you can also see these delay display pedestals. When I was hitting those other towers, I grabbed some of more of these, and I really liked how they look. Um, they're fairly easy to build, but you can see I've put each of the items that we've collected, and these are all ones that you've seen, the jump pants, and let's see here, night vision, I had that one, and this is where this one goes that heals me, I really like that one, that's probably one of my favorite. And then these are all the different wands that I've found, and potions that I've found, so just up here, this is kind of my living quarters is what I call it, and then each of these have their pillars that go up to the areas that jump around you can see these pillars this one goes up to the top of there and I think there is a way this way that goes back down no maybe not maybe this way is a dead end I don't know it looks like it because this goes over my garden here there we go so that's underneath that pedestal but this comes down back to the front door so that's the second floor and then the last one you can see over here my Witch's Oven from Witchery. You can see here I got my Foul Fumes, my Horned. I've got some different stuff. So there's the Hint of Rebirth that I need. And then this will be my Automation Room. So this will be where I have all my Power Gen set up. I was thinking I was going to take this side for Power Gen. Um, potentially we'll see what type of easier sustainable Power Gen I can get. Because you can see right now I'm out of coal again along with uh, anything else that I need to set up that's going to be a large area of space, like I was thinking cutting into this wall to put in a um, mob spawner. So I've got my mines down here, and if you look at my map, I'm not going to go down there, but if you look at my map, you can see this right here is a roguelike dungeon. So I've actually done a, my tunnel all the way over, and it connects to one of the bottom layers of the roguelike dungeon. So that's kind of cool. I can get in there pretty quick and don't have to walk through everything. Um, that's where I did get the nether wart from. There was the, the third layer down does have nether wart. So let's see. Do I need to do anything else to this or can I drink it already? I don't, I don't even know. I'm still trying to figure out how that works. I'm trying to make some wine, I guess. I'm fermenting it. Alright. So the next thing up is I built a sold gauger. Um, a soul gazer is, you'll see this in the top right hand corner, it shows kind of, for picking up, you see all those mods down there. Those are all the additional mods that you see. So the the rock dudes and the, not that guy, oh, not that guy at all. Um, but the death that comes after you, the ghosts, the fire dudes, the lava dudes. Well, if you have this and you click on one of those mobs, then you can actually get them so you can see here, bat. Here's that dude that always attacks me. There's the rakas that fly and pick you up and drop you. The geonach that spawns out of the rocks and stuff. Is there any more there? And then the ice dude. So I had an ice storm happen on uh, the plains. So here's those dinosaurs. So the maka. Um, and I think I had two of them, didn't I? No, I guess I just have one maka. And then the Zatar. So he, they're they're actually roaming this area. Now the thing is, I can spawn them as a minion, and I'm not even sure how this works, but we're gonna test it out. So I just need a piece of gold. Let's see, it's called a summoning staff. Oh, grab berries. There it is. Ender pearl, bone, and gold. So I really don't have a sustainable piece of uh, ability to get ender pearls, but I do have a few of them right now. And when we go downstairs, you'll see that I actually have a spawner of Enderman. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet, but it is my next activity is to grab one of them with a uh, reusable safari net and get a spawner set up. So if I can get a spawner set up, we'll never have to worry about uh, ender pearls again. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Staff of Summoner. Now what does it upgrade to? There's a stable. Wow. 
The blood. Lasts longer, but costs focus. Summons double. And half down, half health each. Alright, so I'm just going to start off with the first one. Um, using creatures, a portal over time, and the portal will drain your summoning focus. Okay. Above Focus above your hunger bar. Ah, so I see those little eyes up there. So, right now we have, let's see, this bad guys out there. There's definitely bad guys out there. Let's see what we have selected in our book here. So if I go to, not that one, but the staff, it's the Reaver. So I'm going to take this one off. Can I take him off? No. Okay, so we're going to use the Reaver. We're not going to have him follow. We're going to have him wander, aggressive, PvP no, sit no. Alright, so I'm going to make it an aggressive, whatever that is. There we go. So hopefully this guy will... He's not PvP. I'm just hoping he will protect my house. So if I go over here, say, piss, might upset somebody. There's two of them now. Uh oh. And there you go. He's attacking that rock. Ooh. Did I spawn two of them? And I didn't even know it? Well, there's two of them out there, and they're both fighting that rock. That's awesome. So now I have protection, I guess. I can just use the staff, spawn them in. I can probably... I don't know how many I can spawn. I guess it's up to how much of these uh, summoner points I have. But that's definitely something we're going to be playing with. Because as much protection as I can get, the better. So, also I did set up an XP shower on here. So if I did want to build any... Or enchant anything. You can see I got sharpness 2 on there. Um, looks like I do need another helmet and another pair of pants. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for now. I'm um, just collecting this as I go. Um, because every time I die I end up losing it. And eh, it's kind of a waste. So we'll just go with 14 for now. I'm going to eat again. And we're going to craft up, I think I needed a helmet. And pants. Grabbed one too many. There we go. And we'll get that enchanted. Let's drop off the stuff that, this is all mob drops here. Mob drop. Another head. Alright, we got some ores out of those geo notches that we killed. And I did set up barrels. Again, I was trying to get organized and everything was getting a little out of hand. So, that's where seeds go. Seed. Flowers. Lettuce. Wait, that's not where flowers go. And flowers go down here. Yes. Berries, apples, there we go. I got one more mob drop item. It's purple stuff. Alright, now we're good. The sun's coming up. It's time to enchant these two things. And I probably want to do a little bit more because I want, let's see, 8 and 8, 16. There we go, I got 16. I'll enchant them both with eight. I don't have that much um, experience points, so. There's eight. Projectile protection. And protection three. That's nice. All right. So now we got full set of armor. I wonder if I can put this staff on there. I can. That's awesome. All right. Can I put the short seals on shield on there, too? No. Shield doesn't fit, so I'm going to put it in here. This is my chest of miscellaneous items. Um, I did make a redstone clock because I was playing around with the um, fermenting barrels and I found out I had to have a fruit press. It's a piston inside of a wooden barrel and the only way for that to work is 
you take the grapes, you put them inside here, and then I thought that you just pressed and stopped pressing, but it still has two in there. Um, I set it up with a redstone torch and or a clock, and it was sitting there doing that over and over again. And I figured, oh, that's how you make wine. You know, you smash it over and over again. But no, they just smash it, and it just stays smashed. So, I guess my thinking of how it really works versus how it works in Minecraft kind of threw me off there. So, let's see, what else? Some other things that I did get. Um, I did make a fan in here. I was trying to get prepped for some of my other setups. And then the rest of the stuff is all stuff that you've already seen um, from the previous episodes. So... One of the other things I can do is, you can see this right here, these spectral bolts. I have been collecting those like crazy. All I need is some blaze, which I do have blazes downstairs in the uh, um, roguelike dungeon area that are actually blocked off right now. But I can make a um, these wands from those. So I have enough of those that I can make quite a few of these different wands. And it blinds the enemy, which any time that they can't see me is better for me. So the last thing I wanted to do here is I actually wanted to, you can see all the geo notches are still out there. Darn it. They just don't want me to do anything. It makes it so difficult. There we go. Ooh, just in time. But they make it easy because these guys don't really know what they're doing. They just sit there and run into a wall. Okay, you can tell this town has been exploded on over and over again. Ah, oh, darn it. Come on, get stuck. Oh, he made it through wood. Alright, there we go. Got five more iron out of that one. But I really want to get the... Oh my goodness, these guys are everywhere. That, the smeltery. Once I can get past these guys... Oh, I should have brought that wand. I could have been spawning guys to protect me. Don't know what I was thinking. Um, so you can see the... Once I find out if I'm clear. Here's the last grapevines. Um, I was cutting down ropes. There's one still out here. Just in case something happened to my house. Oh. Winged venom, acid rain! Winged Venom Acid Rain. Let's see. Just gonna give it a second here. Get these little flying dudes. How many of them are there? They don't look too bad. Their hit points are fairly small. It's uh, only 10 hit points on that guy. So if I just draw them out there. I guess the hit points really don't matter since they hit you with venom. No, he's right there. Yeah, it's one hit. One hit to take him out. So, if I can make it through the poison piece, which I don't have anything that can protect me from poison in any way. They also drop slime, which is kind of strange. Alright, looks like they're all gone. Most of them, anyway. So we're going to chop this up. wonder if I can vein mine it. Sure can. I got an iron pickaxe. And we'll just pick up the last couple of pieces. I don't know what that... F oh, because it's, it's like burning. I think I busted the last pieces of it. Did I get a... Yeah, see, it doesn't even have a smelter controller, which is kind of strange. This guy is flying like crazy. All right. He kind of sounds like slime. You can hear the, the noise he makes. And There we go. So it kind of makes sense that they drop slime balls, I guess. Now I think for to get home, I think it's best just to do a run for the home. Let's go ahead and eat so we don't find ourselves uh, losing the ability to run, but there we go. Get our sword ready. Just kind of zigzag pattern. Blocking the slime here. 
or slime. Yeah, the drop slime, so I might as well call them slime. Oh, one's right behind me. Uh, dodge, dodge, dip, dive, duck, dodge. If you can dodge ven venom, you can dodge a ball. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. Oh, go, go, go. Can I jump? There we go. Alright, so you saw when I was traveling around last time I had the uh, that little thing in my hand that dug the dirt. That is my most valuable artifact I have. Um, it actually does healing damage, or healing when held. So I just take this guy, every time I get hurt, put him in my inventory, and it actually heals me at like twice, three times the speed, and you can see I'm healing already. That was probably the best find I've had in this game yet. So that is, if you can find it, that's why I'm keeping it safe. I try not to ever leave the house with it. Um, I don't want to end up dying and it lo losing it. I can't put it up there, though. I want to, like, hang it right by the front door just so I can grab it when I come in the door every time. So we're up to three hearts, and then we'll go down and... Let's see. Actually... Next thing is making some Mundus. I want to show that. And then I'll probably find out if... Um, what I, uh, items I'm going to cover while I'm off camera next time. So we can then get back to uh, some of the funner stuff in the game. Alright, so the last part is... Let's get some of this Mundus. So I think it was two of those. Let's see, I can just show. One of those, four of those, one of those, the mandrake, bone meal, egg, and green. So the last is an egg. So some things that I'm going to be doing next episode, or next, in between next episode, is I will be getting farther along within witchery. Because um, again, I think that the beneficial part of that is when we do get attacked, we could create ourselves a um, protective barrier, per se, that nothing else can go through. Alright, so what am I missing? Bone meal, I think. This, 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 and this. Grab a piece of bone meal. There we go. And we're set. So what this does... Um, actually, let's grab a couple more pieces of bone meal. We have some grass out here. Here we go. So what you can do is you take this and put it on grass. You can see there, it just turned it into a birch sapling. So I'm actually going to take that because I need to grow some birch trees. But that's not really one of the ones I need. So there's a fern. There's a birch sapling. A lily pad. There we go. So that's from Witchery. Um, however, that one you can't break. Um, just think about it as most of the things that, if you ever played Thomcraft, that you can't break or you'll lose it, you'll get the little ball instead. This is the same thing. You need to cut it down with this to be able to get the whole plant. Um, the glint weed, I don't know what it does. But I know that we need these items and we needed that tree. Um, the item we needed was the tree of... Draw on a blank. Let's see if I can spell witchery again. So I was trying to build this one of circles. I need a whiff of magic, which is from a rowan sapling. So there's two ways to do it. It looks like I might be able to distill it. Or I can get it from a rowan sapling. The rowan sapling is only able to get by transporting something trans-confirming, whatever, with that Mundus. So I'm going to have to do that for a while. I'll get a rowan sapling. I'll probably grow a couple of rowan trees out back. And next episode, hopefully, I'll have that all done, and we'll be able to work on the next part of this. The last thing to cover is one thing that I wanted to show everybody. So this was kind of something I stumbled upon when looking at the bucket. You can see that there's actually a crafting recipe with just a bucket. Um, I don't see it in here right now, but if you take the bucket and you throw it into your crafting, you actually get an upside down bucket. 
Uh, I had not seen this before, I'm not sure the mod itself, but you can see here, I now have a bucket on my head. Let's see, from the outside it kind of looks like I just have a square block on my head, but you can go outside in the rain. Um, this will protect you from that danger that getting out in the rain and it causes damage, you can actually walk around. Now the problem is you can't see very well, so if you're going to have to fight, you're out of luck. Just remember that if you go out and you get stuck in the rain, make yourself a bucket, turn it upside down, and put it on your head. Alright, well, it looks like I used a block there. Again, had a bucket on my head, couldn't tell what I was doing. Well, that about wraps it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and clean up everything I just did, and we'll come back next episode. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later.